Māori rewana bread, baked in Whanganui using a starter bug handed down over generations, will feature on the world stage in a project by UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation. George Jackson has a bread shop in Whanganui and his rewana will be included in UNESCO's Global Breads of the Creative Cities project to document and promote bread making traditions and cultures. George Jackson of Te Ati Haua Nui uh, Paparangi is with us now. Tēnā koe, George, thank you for joining us. Kia ora. Now, I believe that your uh, rewana making is a tradition that's been passed on down um, through family and generations. How did you decide that you wanted to continue making rewana? Um, well, it just kind of found me. I, um, I um, acquired some bug from a cousin and um, started making it from there. Well, my, my nanny used to make it, but it was already hot and ready for us when we arrived at her house. How long does it take you to make a loaf of rewana and, and what's involved? Well, me t making a loaf of rewana, we make quite a few, so it takes up to about 14 to 16 hours. Um, yeah. And I guess you're making it in bulk. Now, as a young and I'd hear talk about this bug. So what is it and, and how is it used to make the bread? Okay, the bugs are, it's a, um, it's a sourdough bug, so it's made up of flour, sugar and potato water, which makes it the one bug, yeah, so. And how, how long has this bug been in your whanau? Oh, about probably three generations, probably dates back to the 1840s to be fair. And you continue to have this on hand, don't you? It's not just something that you... So UNESCO describes bakers as knowledge keepers, saying bread plays a culturally significant role in the heritage of a community and is a symbol of sharing and giving. How, how, did, how were you selected for this project? Um, good question. Um, I think because Wanganui is a small town, they know what everyone's up to, so they kind of picked me. They had this project, um, so they decided to get me as an indigenous bread maker to um, put my name forward towards us. And yeah, it's been um, quite a hit. It sounds like an amazing opportunity. Where can you purchase uh, the rewana? Well, I have a shop in Wanganui East, Wanganui, which I sell my rewana bread, just like you would go to a supermarket or dairy, just come in and you buy a loaf and off you go. <laughs> What's your shop called? Uh, Jackson's Rewana Bread. Beautiful. Look forward to popping in there next time I'm over that way. Rare one, a oh, bread like, maker. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> that's us. I'd love to see you. Yeah, yeah, that's us, bro. Well, definitely do that. George Jackson, thank yeah. you so much for joining us today and all the best for this project. Congratulations. Thank you.